As a teacher of philosophy, it gave me immense pleasure to share in students' euphoric moments of enlightenment. Such moments were prompted by the asking of big questions, questions about cosmology, human existence, religion and ethics. When a pupil asked a question, a train of thought would begin prompting further investigation. They would find themselves on a pathway that leads to an answer, providing them with a moment of clarity. Such moments of clarity are invaluable for our growth as humans, our understanding of self and the world around us. The lectionary reading for today is from Acts 16 and provides us with a good example of someone gaining a moment of clarity. It was through Lydia's interaction with Paul that this moment is provided. The story from Acts sits well alongside today's Gospel reading from John, in which Jesus speaks of the promised advocate who will testify of him. It is also in this text that Jesus asks us to speak about him. In the Acts narrative, we see Paul doing exactly that. It is through Paul speaking about Jesus, inspired by the Holy Spirit, that Lydia's heart is open. You see, words alone stimulate the mind, but inspired words stimulate the soul. Today, Jesus asks us to evangelise in the same way he did the disciples 2,000 years ago. Pope Francis reminds us of this call in his book, The Joy of the Gospel. He says, every Christian is challenged here and now to be actively engaged in evangelism. We should be comforted and not stressed about this charge. We don't do this alone. We have the Holy Spirit, which enables us. Whenever I entered the classroom, I tried to equip myself with the knowledge I needed to answer my students' tricky questions. However, no matter how hard I prepped, there was always that one student who would preempt the lesson and search Google for the most difficult questions to ask me. Their goal was to devastatingly expose my lack of knowledge. Sometimes the questions that people have about life, the universe and our existence are exceedingly difficult. But fear not, we have an advocate and it is through the Holy Spirit that we can find answers. You see, it was not Paul's words alone that opened Lydia's heart. It was his words inspired by the Holy Spirit that changed her and provided her a moment of clarity. We must remember, though, that evangelism doesn't just happen through the speaking of words or the answering of questions. There are many examples in Acts to show that lives can be changed through actions as well as words. In Lydia's story, we see that after her heart is opened, she opens her home and shares what she has. Her actions become an example of service and hospitality. She demonstrates a form of evangelism that we can all participate in. Her story illustrates that sometimes actions can speak louder than words. In opening her home, she models how we can evangelise by our lives, showing that it is only occasionally that we need to use words. The lectionary readings for today challenge us to ask a few questions of ourselves. Are we engaged in spreading the good news, either by our words or by our actions? If not, is there some way in which we can do this? Are our homes secluded fortresses or havens for a hurting soul? Perhaps over the coming days, you can think about some ways that you might be able to take on this challenge. Today, prayerfully ask the Holy Spirit to give you opportunities to evangelise in ways that are relevant to you and those around you, so that you can share in those most precious moments of clarity. Amen.